Hey everyone, so today I have another sewing photo cards video. I really don't have that much to put away this time. It's a pretty small stack of cards, but with a bunch of groups having comebacks in November, I wanted to film this now, especially because I've only posted one video this month so far. So I figured I would just put away everything I have now and also set up for the Stray Kids comeback. Like between the three groups that are coming back in November that I collect, which are Stray Kids, Dreamcatcher, and Espa, Stray Kids are the only one that have album, album details out, and Dreamcatcher still hasn't actually like officially announced a comeback. So I'm only going to be setting up for them, but I did at least want to do that too. And I do have some bigger inclusions to put away, which are mainly just the EXO bigger inclusions that I've been forgetting to put away since Exist came out. I just want to just go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start off with Black Pink. I do have two Born Pink postcards to put away, but then I just have photo cards for my non-album binder. So I did end up moving Black Pink into a slightly bigger binder. So I originally was going to separate their album photo cards and solo stuff, but this binder has room for everything, so I decided to just keep them together for right now. So for this binder, I just have two of the gray version postcards from Born Pink. I didn't realize when I got the Jisoo one that it was actually the last thing I needed for her to finish my like entire Jisoo collection again. So I'm not done with Jisoo, which I really wasn't expecting. So I have her bigger postcard from the gray version of Born Pink. So I am pretty close to finishing the bigger postcards. So I need Lisa's black version, Rosie's gray version, and her black version. And then I have all of the bigger postcards done. And I still need Lisa's smaller black version. I do have her gray version to put away. And then I need Rosie's gray version and Jenny's black version. And then postcards are all done. So I'm not too far off, which is nice. All right, and then that was everything for this binder. And I'm going to go into my non-album binder for Blackpink. So for this binder, I do think I rearranged a few things in here. Like I rearranged just some like bigger inclusions. It's nothing that crazy, but there are some slight changes since the last time it was in this binder. I think I just have the 7th anniversary merch photo cards to put away. And then I do also have the stickers that came with it and white sleeves. I really wish they would do two sets of photo cards when they release stuff like this, just so it wouldn't be just one set of four cards. Because I, I feel like there's really no way to look make four, to make four cards look good on a page. I'm gonna put that in the middle. And then there was member stickers. I think I'm gonna go with that for right now. So that's the seventh anniversary March photo cards. I don't love the way this looks, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. I do really like the packs of those cards. I do think the cereal theme that they did was really cute. I just don't think like the cards themselves really match the cereal theme at all. But they are wearing the outfits that they wore the second time I saw them when I saw them in August at MetLife. So that's kind of cool. Right, and then for the last two cards for this binder, I do have two of the Blackpink the Game photo cards. So I have the 
other rosé that they needed. Now you have rosé done, and I finally have one of Lisa's cards. So I am missing Lisa's other card with the purple background. I do have the other Jisoo card that I needed on the way, but I still need to get Lisa's other card. And then I'll be done with this. So I think these cards weren't too hard to find, and I was able to find, I think, all of them with the coupon code not used, which was nice, since I actually do like play the game. So I've been able to use the coupon codes. Right, and then that was everything for this binder and for Blackpink. It's almost November and we still have no news on what's happening with their contracts, so who knows when I'm gonna have anything to put away for them anytime soon, or like anything new. So if I have anything else to put away for them soon, it'll probably just be older stuff. But now I'm gonna get into EXO. So far, EXO, I did make a new cover page for this binder, but I honestly kind of hate it. So I'm probably gonna try and redo that at some point. I do have Chen's um, it's a mini photo card. So I only need two more of those, so I just need Kai and Kungsu, and then those are done. And then for the regular album version photo cards, I do have two of the cards. So I finally have one of Sehun's regular album photo cards. So I have his X version, and I have the last Suho that he needed, which was his E version photo card. So I just need Sehun's E version and L version and Kai's X version, which for some reason I feel like I never see his X version card. That you feel like it's the only one of his cards that I never see anywhere. And then I just have one other Exist card. So I did get Sehun's Digipack card, which I think I'm gonna put it on this page with the pre-order benefits, which I still only have one of those. So I think he has like two, two or three other creator benefits where he's wearing that same outfit and they have some more lighting so I might try and get at least two of those and kind of figure out a pattern that looks nice with those cards but I really don't have too much of a plan still of what pops I'm collecting for him and I'm probably gonna end up taking that really slowly just because I doubt they're gonna do anything anytime soon and he most likely is gonna be enlisting within the next few months so I won't have anything to collect for him anyway and then I just have one other card for this binder. So I have one of Kai's Rover photo cards. I feel like for some reason this album is kind of hard to collect for him. Like I feel like I rarely ever see the Rover photo cards. I do at least have more than half of them, which is nice, but I'm really hoping those last five cards or those last four cards aren't extremely hard to find right, and then that was everything for this binder I am slowly finally making some progress with exist and the only other thing I have to put away for exo is just the bigger album inclusions now which I meant to put them away several videos ago when I first put away the exist photo cards that I pulled but I completely forgot about it and just never ended up putting them away so I do already have some pages in here for the Exist stuff, and I did put away those already just because they were kind of big, but I did get some three pocket pages since I originally set everything up, so I'm probably not going to stick to the original plan I had for setting everything up, especially because I don't even remember what it was. So I'm probably just going to see what fits in the three pocket pages, and then what doesn't, we'll just go in a two pocket page. So I have three of the bookmarks, two of the film photo sets, I have six of the postcards, and then two of the lenticulars, which I don't think the lenticulars or the postcards will fit in the three pocket pages. So photos will fit in there. So then I'm just 
gonna do the two bookmarks at the top and then the film photos on the back or on the bottom and then the other bookmark on the back for now. It so says the postcards definitely won't fit and the lenticulars are even bigger. So those aren't going to fit, so don't need this extra page. So I have one postcard from the E version, two from the X version, and then three from the O version. So I think I'm just going to do... Two from the excursion first. And two from the O version. Then the other O version. And the X version. And then I just have the two lenticulars. So there is bigger inclusions for exist. And I have just two extra pages in there. If there's a chance I'll end up rearranging this at some point but it's just gonna stay like that for now and then that was everything that I had for EXO so next I'm gonna do Stray Kids so I do only have one photo card to put away in this binder today maybe because they're having a comeback next month so I've really kind of just not worked on any of the cards that I'm still missing. So I do have this Chompin Digipack card from Five Star. So now I just need something and then this this page is done. And I am still missing Kyunjin and Chongbin for the other Digipack cards. And I'm still missing Jisung for the Target exclusive card. So I'm not that far off but I do still need few cards. Right, and for their comeback that they're having next month, Rockstar, I kind of have a plan, which is pretty much going to be almost the same as what I did for Five Star. So originally I wasn't planning on collecting the postcard version, which is the member versions, but then I was like, no, I think I'm going to collect it. And I've still kind of been going back and forth, but I think I'm going to end up getting it Mainly because I'm going to try to not buy as many albums this time as I did for 5 Star. So at least if I get the member versions, I'll still have a lot of albums open, but I hopefully won't be buying as many albums as I did the last time. So I am going to get the postcard versions with the Soundwave pre-order benefits if I do end up collecting the member versions, which at this point I most likely am. I'm just going to put white sleeves in there and right now i don't think i'm going to collect the target exclusive cards just because you only get the card with two of the album versions and again i'm really trying not to buy a bunch of albums this time then on this page i'm going to do the, the pre-order card from the postcard version I think I'm going to put sleeves on that page, or on the next page, just because they're like in the middle of everything. And then I'm going to do the regular photo card from the postcard version. They did also just announce the platform version, which I don't know if I'm going to end up buying that yet. You do get a full set of eight cards, so if they end up being selfie cards, I might end up getting it, but if not, I'm probably not going to end up 
find it. And then I am going to have, I'm going to keep all eight members for the film photo card because I think you get two sets of four. So it will make sense to just keep all of them. And then for the last page, I'm just going to have the regular album version photo cards, which I'm not going to collect all eight members. I'm just going to collect only chain of looks like you usually do for photo cards. And then we're going to do the headliner version in the middle and then the other photo card from that comes with the rock and the roll versions at the bottom. So that's my plan for rock star for right now. It's always possible that I'll end up changing my mind and collecting less or collecting more once I see the cards, but for right now, that is my plan. Right now, that was everything for this binder. Now I just have a few cards to put away for my A5 binder for them. So for this binder, I have three cards to put away. I have two of the five star pops. I have Make Star and With Meal. So I think I'm just going to be done with five star now. I honestly didn't love the five star pops as much, so I'm fine with just keeping just four of them. And then maybe if I end up really liking the rock star ones, I'll collect a few more and maybe try and collect Felix for some. But we'll see. I would rather wait and see what the cards actually look like before I make up my mind. And then the last card I have to put away is this unicard from Social Path. It's the unicard from their most recent Japanese comeback. So I have those two. I really would love to get the other unicard that I'm missing for them from the Japanese releases. I can't remember which release it was from at the, right now, but I would really like to get it, but I feel like I can never find it, so... So I'm going to stick with just those two for now. Right, and then next I think I'm going to do Espa just because I only have one card to put away for them. So for Espa, I just have Ningning's Target Exclusive card from My World. I don't know exactly what I'm going to collect for, for them for drama just because SM still hasn't released the album details. So they are doing a Target exclusive for one of one version of the album, which is the giant version. So if they did do what they did for My World, you'll only get the Target exclusive card. With that album you won't get like the regular album photo card, which I'm really hoping they don't do that again, but I feel like they're gonna end up doing that again. So I'll most likely definitely collect the Target exclusive card and then probably just either collect one of the other US exclusive cards or if Target has other versions of the album, I might get at least one other version. I feel like it's most likely just going to be seeing what they have and going from there. Right, and then that was everything for Espa, so I don't know what I'm collecting, so there's really no point in setting up for it. And then I just have one last binder now. Right, so now we just have the A5 wide binder that has some of the other girl groups I collect in it. So I did rearrange a few things since I filmed setting up this binder. So I did move, I did rearrange Road to Utopia around a little bit, so I just have GU's cards together. Well, I, so I have one page of GU and Yukon, and then I have just GU cards, and then just Yukon cards. On Summer Holiday, I also rearranged a little bit. There really wasn't anything that big of a change. And I think I switch around follow us as well but I honestly can't remember so the only card I have to put away for Dreamcatcher today is this Shion card from Apocalypse From Us so I'm done with Shion for this album they have started teasing a comeback but still haven't announced it so I don't have so obviously I can't set up for that today and I also moved some of the Shion cards I had that were from albums I wasn't collecting her for in here too. I don't think I've changed anything with the Seraphim, 
but I do finally have one of the other Chainlong cards from Unforgiven. So now I just need one card and then she's done. Right, and then that was actually everything for this video. Hopefully next time I'll have more stuff to put away. But with at least three groups that I collect having a comeback, I should definitely have more stuff to put away. Yep, that was everything for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.